What's up guys, it's Shuichi here, and this time we're going to rank Quick Revive locations in Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies. Just like the last list, I'm going to try to give at least one pro and one con for each location. But this time around, I'm going to at least try to talk a little bit more instead of just saying, hey, here's a pro, here's a con. Just to make the video more personable, you know? Anyways, let's get started. We're going to start this list off with one of my favorite maps of all time, Ascension. Quick Revive is simply located in one of the best places imaginable for any perk. It's a great training location, so if you go down, you can easily get up and go back in, swoop it, and you're not going to get cornered in any sort of way. Not only that, it's right next to Jug too, so you can get that, go get Jug, and you already have two perks right off the bat. Just don't be an idiot like me that loves to blast his music and doesn't pay attention to his surroundings, because if you do, you might get knocked down by that little spinner. And by little, I mean that huge eyesore. If I could, I'd give this location an S, but I'm not going to break my rollings, so it's going to get an A. Following this location up, we have Moon. It's one of the better locations because it's in the middle of an open area that isn't cramped at all. It has multiple exits so you're able to get in, get the perk, and either go off the bounce pad or one of the two doors on the side. I know I can't keep hyping things up, so let's get into the cons. There's a zombie barrier right next to it, so you do have to worry about that. And on top of that, it's on the opposite side of the map. Everybody's going to be training around Biodome or the surface, while you got to worry about running all the way back across the map to get the perk. Unless you use the teleporter, of course, then go back. Despite being easily accessible, I'm going to have to give this perk a B, because that is time consuming to have to go all the way back for it, and then get back to your training spot. In third place, we have everybody's most hated map, Shangri-La. Please stop painting on Shangri-La, I love this map. I'd say one of the great things about this perk is that it's literally in the middle of the map. There's multiple, multiple routes that lead to this perk throughout the map. I guess you could say all roads lead home, huh? Some of the downsides to this perk is that it's cramped up in a little structure that you have to get through to get the perk. On top of that, there's spikes on both sides that you can get stuck by. I personally think this wouldn't be too much of an issue, so I'm gonna rank this perk a B. Please stop hitting on Shingrilla. Fourth up, we have Call of the Dead. While this location is in the middle of the open, just like Ascension, the main problem this perk runs into is the fact that it's surrounded by water. In the lower rounds, it may not be too much of an issue, but in the higher rounds when George just keeps on shocking those zombies, you're going to be in a tough time being slowed down while those zombies are booking it for you. You know what, I'm on that topic. That water is a pain in the ass. I think that's one of the mechanics I really hate about this game. I think I would much rather take the Shingerla Spikes Stop eating a Shingerla. or the Nova 6 Crawlers on Moon over the water in Call of the Dead. The water alone is going to drop that perk down to a C. In fifth place, we have Keener de Toten. Now, these perks are starting to get into risky territories. Kino's is buried behind a counter. This counter is fine and dandy and all, but it's really, really tight. You can only fit one person back there, and you gotta run a train properly through it. It's like a funnel. If you go the proper direction through the funnel, you're going to end up with a zombie barrier right at the end of it. it but if you go the it. opposite direction to try to counter the barrier, I'm you're going to run so your train back into alive. itself, therefore it basically downing right yourself in the right. process. Unless you have the thunder gun, but of course we're talking about situations where you only have something like the FAMAS or the AUG. This location is going to drop it all the way down to a D. And it may seem weird, but I'm going to have to rank 5 as the worst location for Quick Revive. It's not like it's as tight as Kino, but it's just as bad. You have to either randomly teleport or ride the elevator all the way back up to the first floor to get the perk. Then once you get the perk, you're going to be stuck in a hallway that's really, really tight. The spawn area is already bad as is. If you're able to run a train in there, that's great. On top of that, if you have the traps set up, it's just as good. But those traps really aren't going to do you much if you're trying to squeeze right on out of there, especially if you don't have your perks after going down. And after thinking about how bad 5 was, I'm going to have to give classified credits where it's due. It's fixed a lot of the issues that 5 itself had. I'm not saying 5 is a bad map, I just hated the teleport system. After all that, this location is going to get an F. That's going to end it for the Quick Revive section of this list. I will say that at least the one thing that this perk has going for it is it's not Jug or Speed on Moon. While we're here, I do want to talk about something weird in terms of perk locations. Have you guys ever thought about how 5 has a third layer, but there's not a single perk that's on that layer? The first layer has two perks and the second layer has three perks, but why does the bottom floor not have any perks at all? Just some food for thought. 
Anyways, thanks for tuning in. I'm going to make sure to try to have Double Tap and Speed Cola up by next week. Make sure to drop a like and to subscribe to keep up to date with this list. And as always, don't die. Stop leaving on Shangri-La.